Hello, this is a little test to see how this video works. So my girlfriend got me this called the Blue Snowball. Now, right now the audio is not uh, working so well. It's because I don't have this um, connected to the software that I'm using right now. So I'm trying out this um, webcam and screen recorder software from NCH. It's called uh, Debit, uh, D-E-B-U-T. Because I tried um, other software from them in the past. Uh, I, let's see, I tried uh, WavePad and MixPad. So since I like them, I thought I'd give this a try. Okay, so here is an example of what the program looks like. Now, I'm not uh, recording myself with this program yet because I don't think I can use the same program to record myself and show what's on the screen of what I'm recording. Uh, so I'm using a Movavi screen recorder and for this one that I'm using debit, I'm not actually gonna record, I'm just showing you the interface. So it might look a little confusing right now, but right here is um, your different options and then whatever you click on here will change down here. So right now I have webcam selected so if I go to screen, for example, this is going to change down here. And you see right now the cursor is um, like really large and it's because I'm zoomed in right now. So I'm going to click this. Let's see. Now it's kind of showing um, the top of the screen, but we can't really see the bottom of the screen. And this is what I was a little confused about. So, oh, I'm just uh, showing you like different features here. Like, um, well, first of all, let me show you how to hook up the microphone. So I just tried, I'm just trying this out today. So to hook up the microphone, we're going to go up here where it says preferences. All right, so under video, I'm going to go to webcam. Now this was on by default, uh, cam mask, and this is why I couldn't, really uh, record myself I want to go to FaceTime HD camera so that I'm doing let's see under audio and where I have a check I checked off uh, capture sound it says built-in micro micro mi <laughs> microphone geez I want to go down to where it says blue snowball and then press OK and now uh, like my um, audio will appear a lot better. So while we're under webcam, I want to show you some cool features here. So these uh, features over here, so there's like text, for example. So I'm going to just say something like, I don't know, prevalent arts. And then I can like change the size, padding, font. I kind of wish there were live time previews because I don't like, I don't know what all these fonts are. I mean, I know blue, I like blue font, but even though it looks kind of kiddish, but I don't know, I kind of like it. They change color, outline color, background color, and I don't like that, but so these this will bring up different windows of your options, and if you don't want this font, so I mean don't want the text, just remove it. Over here is your color, so I can change the brightness, contrast, gamma. A uh, different filter like black, white, negative, sepia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Flip horizontal, flip vertical. This is like for watermarks. So if I want to use my uh, Prevalent Arts logo, could upload the image here. Select this and. I would uh, click on this uh, this button to browse for it, but I'm not going to add a watermark in this video. 
Now this is the feature that I like. This is for a uh, green screen. Now I don't have a green screen, but uh, wherever you record yourself, it's recommended that if you are going to use a green screen to have a solid background. Now here you can see I'm in my room, so this is not really a solid background. So here you would like, first thing you do is enable and you could have an image background or you could have a video background. In this case, I'm going to do video. So I'm going to browse for a video. All right, now you notice that nothing happened yet because right now under where it says color, I need to select what color in the background now is it that I want to hide. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and I'm going to select this color of the wall. Now see that it doesn't look well right now, but if I have a green screen, I can make it look like I'm riding on a roller coaster. Go, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a cool thing. Right now I'm going to just do solid. Uh, you know, that's this isn't looking good. <laughs> so I'm going to disable right now. Just get back to normal. Now, you see that down here you can record and like stop. But if you want to preview your recordings, then you would go up here where it says recordings. And now this is a list of all of your recordings. Now, just be careful. Um... If you click on some of these buttons like burn, edit, you will actually download a new program by NCH. So I believe edit, you would actually download NCH uh, video pad. And I forget the program for burn. I don't know if it's uh, NCH burn pad. <laughs> I don't know. They have a lot of pad videos. So... Um, Let's see, what happens if I click on video? Okay, so it opens the source of where all of my videos are saved. So, yeah. So far, I uh, really like this program. And it's, it's not free, but it is a very low price. So, I might uh, consider this sometime in the future as a way to step up my YouTube channel. Uh, because... Now that I have a microphone and now that I'm kind of being a little goofy with uh, Zoom sessions, experiencing the virtual backgrounds, it kind of make, makes me want to, okay, step up my channel too. So, I don't know. This is something that I kind of recommend right now. I have a lot of cool features. And if I have a video, I could like Zoom different sex different sections in so I'll experiment more once I can find a way to have more green screen capabilities that's something I want to uh, work on to make my videos look more presentable oh and the last thing I forgot to tell you is how to control your output so when you're exporting your audio or well before you export your audio or your recordings in general I don't know why I'm just saying audio um, down here where it says, uh, like record web camera as, so whether it's a webcam, a screen recording, would it be under screen recording too? Just a second. Yes, it would. Okay. So it looks like that right now I have fast capture and that's not what I want. So I'm going to click on this menu and see how I have a whole lot of options here. So I didn't, wasn't really paying attention to what I was exporting my video file type as. It was AVI. I want to export my videos as MP4. So this is saying um, what I want to save it as. And the recordings will show you where you're saving it to. Now, if I want to change my uh, file location... Let's gonna explore a little. So I'm gonna go to debit uh, preferences again, or I could just click on preferences on right here. And look, there's an output tab, and right here, it, you can change where you want to save it again. Although I kind of feel like this is a good location uh, under movies and then the debit folder. But if you want to s 
say if you if you want to change your file location then you just click on this button here so I hope this was helpful this is what I'm gonna be using for a little bit well like while I'm on the trial